Hey, you there, boy. You have a little drink with me, huh? Huh? What you reading there? Huh? What, what, what are you reading? The deer slayer, huh? <laughs> Say, who, who in tarnation is J. Fennimore Cooper? It's a man who wrote about Indians. At least that's what he thought he was doing. Indians. Indians! What does he say about them? I mean, what kind of thing is he saying about Indians? I guess he thought they were. Nature's nobleman. Noble? Noble? There ain't nothing noble about a stinking Indian. Except maybe the dirt you buried him in. Noble! No need to do that. cows at the Simmons ranch all day and I'm tired. So I'll just back off. Put that gun away, Sime. Ain't nobody in my sight gonna say a good word about an Indian and walk out of this door alive. You gotta score with the Indians, tell them about it, because I'm not interested. drawn against any man out of his head with liquor. So just walk away and sleep it off. Sime, you better get on home before you hurt yourself. I said draw! You like all the Indian lovers, you're nothing but a yellow lousy <laughs> Sime, you got awful lucky. I'll pick up your gun and go home. Kid, we all seen it. He was sure asking for it. You know him, Wallace? Simon Trask. Got a flea bite place over next to Simmons. And you just stood there. I'm your foreman, Yuma. Not your nursemaid. And him. A nester. Uglying up the prairie with his stinking mean life. <laughs> Who'll care about him? His wife. Ken.
still say it's not your business to look his widow in the face. I know it was either him or me, but this much I owe him. I've been living there about two years now. Poorer than skim milk. Never put down no roots. His wife. Been two years. She ain't never come face to face with another human soul. I don't know what was eating him. Unless it was she never gave him no kids. Funny how some men take it worse than others. Still seems like a sorry reason for grown men to pick a quarrel about Indians. Think so? Don't you? What if your wife had been captured by him like his? Or massacred by him like mine? <laughs> Mrs. Trask! Get away! Mrs. Trask, I'm the sheriff. I've got to talk to you. Get out of here! Mrs. Trask, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. Don't you take another step. We brought back your husband. He was drunk, started shooting. There wasn't anything this boy could do but defend himself. Yes! Don't you understand? We brought back his body. Surely you must want to provide for a decent burial for him. <laughs> you think I wanted to cry over him? That why you came here? Mister, I ain't got one tear left in me. You want me to dig him a hole. Sheriff, if I could get a shovel in this ground, I'd plant radishes. What are you gonna do? Bury him in Boot Hill. This land. Such as it is, he owns a piece of it, don't he? Let's get some shovels. as sagebrush, but in her eyes the staring, pained look of a wounded animal. And what makes a man like Trask so eaten away with bitterness that he... Still writing things down, Yuma. It's on my time, so don't lose any sleep over it. Might proudy, huh, Reb? Don't push. Or are you still feeling bad about a shoestring thieving nester? The 50 bucks a month sure makes you feel like a big cow man, doesn't it? Someday I'm going to ram those papers right down your throat, Sonny. You with your books and your writing. But not right now. Mr. Simmons has been asking for us. Come on. She butchered the steer, Wallace. 
Sam followed the trail all the way to Sime Trask's cabin. His widows, that is. Eh, Reb? Stealing eggs, a couple of chickens, that's bad enough. Now nah, she's getting real ambitious, eh, Yuma? Now, how could a woman alone drag off a steer, even a young one? She's not exactly a weak woman. She lived with the Comanches for a while. I reckon she could just about do a man's job, if not worse. I suppose she had no other choice with that husband of hers. Besides, who said she did do it alone? What are you talking about? He killed her husband, didn't he? Maybe he's trying to make it up to her. If I want to help somebody, I do it with my own money. All right, Johnny. Oh, we better get the sheriff. She wouldn't have had time to cut it up yet. Mr. Simmons, she's a sick, sorry woman. None of us here have any idea what she might have gone through with the Comanches. Sure, and that gives her prime choice for Mr. Simmons' cattle. Now, why would a person kill a steer and drag it off with their bare hands unless they were starving? If you let one cattle thief get away with this, you're gonna have them all down here. That's right. Mr. Simmons, the steer, you can take it out of my wages. You're gonna save your conscience $10 worth, eh, Reb? Johnny, was Break it up. You bought Mrs. Trask a little time, Johnny. That's about all. Ah. Uh, she's a strange one, all right. A woman who would turn her back on her own husband's burial. Threatened to shoot anyone who came close. She's sick-minded right enough. I don't want to sound harsh, but I think she's a danger to everyone. Well, something ought to be done for her, but I think Johnny's right. Just getting her locked up isn't going to be the answer. You reckon maybe she's a witch? Larry, Ike, don't go far. We're going to have dinner soon. Sam said you wanted to see me. That's right. What's on your mind? I hear tell you buried Trask. Even when they die, they ugly up this creation big land. People like the Trasks. They don't belong here. Why do they keep hanging around? We do not live, we only stay. We are too poor to get away. You find that in one of them fancy books? I read it on a barn in Kansas. Well, what's on your mind, Wallace? You, Reb. You've been nosing in where you don't belong. Is that so? Standing up for that Trask woman. I figure that's my business. It's mine, too. When she starved out of there, a run out, I'm buying in. Just like that? It won't take much. You still fancy yourself to be a cattle baron, huh? I've got a chance to start me a spread, and nobody's gonna keep me from it. The woman? What about her? She's not my concern. She doesn't seem to be anybody's. One more thing, Yuma. The reason I asked you out here. Mr. Simmons is not here to protect you now. It's just you and me. And we're gonna find something out. Something else you want to find out, just let me know. 
I heard what the boy said. She tried to kill him. Shoot him down in cold blood. Please, Walt, let's not go over that again. Maybe she's gonna cook him and eat him, because she's a witch. Wallace, tell Sam to get the sheriff. You saddle up the horses. Mrs. Simmons, maybe if you came along. Why? No telling what she might do if we get her spooked. It'd be better if there was a woman alone to talk to her. There's liable to be some shooting. You stay here. Get my horse, will you, Johnny? Got the buckboard packed and ready to go. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, why would she want to run away? Larry! Larry! She's probably holding him to make sure we let her go. Well, nobody's gonna bargain with my boy's life. Lucy, come back! Lucy, come back! Hold it. Don't you take another step. Mrs. Trask! Send Larry out and we'll go away. Let him go, please. I know why you're here. You want to lock me away someplace. Just like my husband. You don't think I'm fit to be alive, neither. Nobody comes in here. I'll kill him and myself first. Let Larry out. Please, and we'll go away. We'll do whatever you want. Would you let me go and not try to lock me up someplace? We promise. Now will you let him go? After dark, not before. Larry! Larry! <laughs> Now you've done it. You go for that gun and I'll make you eat it. Boy, still in there? Yeah, my wife's down there, too. Mrs. Trask! Mrs. Trask! He means you no harm! Trask, I'm coming in for the boy. No, please don't come down. Please don't make me have to kill you.
He always tried to help you, Mrs. Trask. He paid for that steer out of his own pocket. It was him seeing your man got a decent burial on his own land. <laughs> It's all right. You're all so decent, ain't you? I was married to Syme Trask when the Comanches got me. Yes, his father was an Indian. I had no other choice. But his father was good to me. The best he knew how. And when the cavalry hunted him down, Sure, Sam Trask took me back, all right. But he never let me forget it. He could never forgive me for him. He moved us out here so that nobody'd know his disgrace. He tried to drink away the memory. <laughs> Finally, we had to steal to live. We were starving, Sheriff! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You got a lot of schooling to catch up on, boy. I've got a big house. It isn't much, but... Well, if you'd like to help take care of it. Wallace, Sam, hitch up a buckboard and take it into town. Come on, Juana. The Indians did a lot worse to you than they did to her husband. Where's your hate? There comes a time when hate dies, and something better takes its place. He 
searched the land, this restless land. He was panther quick and leather tough. If he figured that he'd been pushed enough, the rebel, Johnny Umar. Johnny Umar. 